So I spent a lot of time thinking about what I believe, and I spent a lot of time <laughs> right off the bat. It's always hard to start. Starting is the hard part. We're going to get this. I care a lot about what I believe. I care about Christianity. I care about other Christians and the struggles that they go through. All that stuff. It's a pretty complete. I think about it nonstop. I really do. I think about it all the time. And um, I think about how disappointed I am about what's going on in the world right now. Especially with the, the coronavirus. COVID-19. And the way the church has responded to COVID-19, which is doing nothing. That's kind of how I feel about it. I feel that the church hasn't really done nothing. Um, a lot of churches, probably 99% of them all across the world, have shut down because of safety reasons. Some of them have shut down because um, they tried to stay open, but they got shut down. It is what it is. Um, but I also feel like in a lot of ways that Christianity kind of shut down and, and went really quiet. Um, not a lot of people were coming up with a lot of ideas on how we could use this time to uh, benefit Christians, non-believers, just to introduce them to who God is through this time. And um, it's pretty crazy because a lot of the people that I know that are Christians, they really all in one idea uh, thought that this is it. Mark of the Beast, Rapture, End Times, the whole thing. They're like, this is it. This is, this is potentially what's going to kill us. So, like, this is the end. And their response to that, as well as my response to that, was to do absolutely nothing. Like, I didn't do anything with it. And I, for a little while there, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, yeah, this is totally the end of it. And it could possibly be. I have no idea. It doesn't seem like it now. But at first, it was like, holy smokes, this is getting intense. This is scary. But instead of spreading our message and, and to tell people about God's love and things like that, we decided to kind of just crawl up into our holes and watch Netflix instead. This video is not to put Christianity down as much as it is to say that I am sorry for not doing anything at all for so long. I sit and I think about all these things. I think about what I can do, or sorry, no, 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 that's not what I think. That's not what I think. I think, what is everyone else going to do? Why isn't the church doing this? What's this? What's this? What's going on? But I'm not doing anything. Like, you look at this channel. My last video got one view. One. And I totally think it's my fault. That's my fault because I didn't put much into that video. I didn't make another video. I didn't even try. I just kind of lackadaisically put something up there and expected it to just do it for itself. I didn't really do anything. To have a, a Christian channel on YouTube and then to not do anything with it or not even put a lot of effort into doing it is kind of weird, actually. But that's kind of what happened. This, that's what this is, has turned into. And then I'm sitting around blaming everything else instead of blaming myself. If Christianity isn't doing anything, well, it's probably because you're not doing anything. Makes sense? Like, I think about it a lot, but I don't do a lot. I don't really do anything. You know, faith without works is dead, so I don't know what that says about my faith. It's, it's a strange place to be because I think about this stuff night and day, and I want to be a good influence on um, fellow Christians and to help them. I know that a lot of people don't have a lot of ideas, and I have a ton of ideas, so I'm like, well, am I not hiding my light by not putting videos out there and not putting out a lot of effort to try to help other people? Because if I can inspire one person, like you might be the person that I'm meant to inspire, but I'm not doing anything to inspire you. How am I supposed to help you with your life if I won't get off my couch and do something to help you become who you were meant to be? It doesn't make any sense. You can blame the whole world for everything. Or you can make a change, and I want to make a change. I want to give you what you deserve because I want to inspire other people to live their life the best way they can for Jesus Christ. I believe in it, so I need to start living it. I want to apologize to everybody that I could have reached. 
I want to apologize to everybody that I could have inspired. Because what happens is a ripple effect. If I put my time in, if I do the best that I can, I know that someone's going to get inspired from what I do. I know that. I believe that. And if you're inspired, you're going to do your best and someone's going to be inspired and it's going to keep going on and on. But if I do nothing, if I don't start, none of that's going to happen. And a bunch of people are going to miss out on that. Someone is waiting for you to be the best you so they can become what they are meant to be. I'll see you really soon. Thank you.